Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. One of my students appeared for Central Bank of India Credit Analyst interview, right? And he shared some of the questions asked in the interview at the time of the interview. And today I'm going to share the kind of questions asked in the real interview of financial analyst post. That would help you to prepare for your interviews for sure. If you are preparing for credit officer or credit analyst uh, interviews, that would help you for sure, right? So the first question, please tell us about yourself. You need to prepare for your introduction. Your, uh, you need to start with your name, followed by your education, followed by your work experience, right? So a brief about uh, your background, education, work experience and relevant skills, uh, you know, uh, if you have right any any skill that you have you know as SAP or you can do you can work with MySQL right or you are an uh, expert at MS Excel any skill any good skill that you have that makes you different that makes your skill set unique tell them about it right the second question what do you mean by the IRAC norms what are IRAC norms that's an important master circular by Reserve Bank of India that I have taught in detail in the financial awareness section of a course, right? So IRAC norms uh, stands for income recognition, asset classification and provisioning norms. I have taught in depth about this particular uh, circular. I always recommend all my students to go through IRAC norms, the priority sector lending norms, the Basel norms, right? So they are uh, especially these two are very, very important the IRAC norms and the PSL, uh, the priority sector lending norms, right? Very important. How much provision is made in case of substandard asset? Now give a look <coughs> the IRAC norm question, then further question is asked from IRAC norms. So this particular question key, uh, how much provision is to be made in case of substandard as asset? This question is from IRAC norm again. So in case of substandard, a general provision of 15% is required for secured exposure and 25% for unsecured exposure for NPS up to 12 months. Uske baad it is bad at right? So this is directly from IRAC norm. If a question has been asked from priority sector lending, then another question would be asked from the priority sector lending. Again, cross questioning would be there, right? Moving forward, if you answer that, and my student told me he answered that well, followed by that, uh, see, if you answer this question, the IRAC norms, uh, let's say you answer this question well, this is the full form of IRAC, it's uh, the income recognition, asset classification and provisioning norm. And then you tell it by that it's a master circular by RBI and what is the purpose, okay, got it. Let's say if they need to give you five marks for the IRAC norms, if you give this answer right, they'll give you three marks. But if you give the next question uh, right, they'll give you full five marks. But if you are unable to give any answer, zero. Okay. So it's very, uh, there is objectivity here. Okay. What do you mean by payment bank, small finance bank and new bank? Kind of easier question. Easier as compared to IRAC norm. IRAC is little typical, little difficult. This one is totally simple. What is a payment bank? What is a small finance bank? What is a new bank? If you do not know answer to this particular question, then I doubt that they are going to give you like 10, 11 marks out of 20 or they may fail you. You will be failed. If you are unable to answer this simple question, they will fail you for sure. Right? So simplicity, uh, a payment bank, it's a type of bank uh, that provide basic banking uh, services such as acceptance of deposits and remittance of funds, right? Uh, but does not offer credit services. Now that is important. Payment bank does not provide credit services. Okay, while the small finance bank provide basic banking services and aims to provide financial inclusion to the underserved sections of the society. Okay. While the new bank, it's a digital only bank. It's a digital only. These are the keywords that they are looking for. Right? These keywords are the panel looking for. For the payment bank, no credit service, no, no credit products to be offered. Small finance bank uh, service the 
underserved uh, sections of the sec uh, of the uh, of our society and new bank it's a digital only bank okay so these are the keywords that they are looking for if you are unable to answer simple questions they may fail you if you are able to answer this good enough right how will you verify any financial statement whether it is true or not this is one of the most common question asked at the time of the interview of credit officer and uh, credit officer and financial analyst you need to match the financial statements first of all the inventory you can physically verify right inventory you can physically verify then the statements you can uh, match the statements with the gst and itr returns right uh, you can verify the capital with the you know the, uh, the profit and loss account with gst and itr right the sales number with gst returns right and then uh, you can match the profit and loss account the cash in hand with the uh, bank account statement GST ITR bank account statement or you can verify the purchases with the suppliers you can make calls to suppliers verification involves accuracy and consistency of financial statement by cross referencing cross reference kisse karna hai GST return ITR return and bank account statement say you are going to cross verify right you need to ensure whether the accounting standards by ICAI are properly followed or not. But GST, ITR and bank account statement, you need to verify that's the most important part. And that's what they are looking for. If you're able to answer this, you are going to get very good marks. The, this is a kind of practical knowledge question. Agar aapko ye pata hai, that means you have a lot of practical knowledge. Aapka practical knowledge yahan pe test ho raha hai. Further questions asked about my work experience related question. Now that varies a lot. Whatever you are doing right now, whether you are interested in that or not, whatever you're dealing with right now you, about your job roles, responsibilities, achievements. So that matters a lot. If your profile is good, they are going to give you good marks. If your existing profile is not that relevant, they're going to give you bad marks, right? Please tell us about the GST returns, specifically about GSTR one, right? So GSTR one, it's a monthly or quarterly return. You opt for it, right? that contains details of all outward supplies made by the taxpayer if you are able to answer this that it is a monthly or quarterly return that contains de uh, details regarding all the outward supplies jo bhi sale karte hain, all the outward sales that's it so students i hope today's session would help you to understand the kind of questions asked at the time of the interview common questions asked and you can book a mock interview as well uh, you, we can do a mock interview if you want to do a mock interview with me just drop me a whatsapp message 9067201000 this is my personal whatsapp number you can just contact me and we can do a mock interview session on google meet and that would help you for sure right and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye